If you have ever watched Anime Weekly, you may know the pain. The pain of filler. One moment you're blissfully unaware, happy, at peace. Then you flip on your favorite show, which you've been waiting all week for, a terrible week. With bated breath, you wait for your new content that you've been hearing all about, and it's filler. Now if you don't know what filler is, let me explain. If I don't win this card game against Satan, I'm pretty sure the whole world is going to explode. That's just one kind of filler, the technically content variety, where, yeah, you may not be seeing the canon story, and it may even interrupt the story that was already going on. But it is at least new entertainment, and even if it's not technically real to the series, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. The other, more sinister kind of filler. Shane had already explained one type of filler, and now he was off to explain the dreaded recap filler. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and anime fans, is far worse. At least content filler has some actual, you know, content. But recap filler is just a blatant way to expand the story without any actual new stuff, and I want new stuff. Now back in the day, sure, sometimes it was helpful to get people caught up before the advent of streaming. But there is no excuse for Hunter x Hunter to have a filler recap episode, let alone 13 episodes into the series. Now I have no clue why they did this, I've done no research. But there is no excuse. There are recaps every episode, this is a complete waste, how dare you even present it to me. But, but also, I think it would be really funny if the new Hunter chapters coming out just ended up being recap manga. After all this time, that would make me really happy. I'm a hater, for real. Now so far I've talked about filler quite a bit, and none of it has been positive. So how could I say I kinda miss it? Because I like stupid bullshit. I mean, come on! Can you blame me? If you're here, you like stupid bullshit too. Anime and comics alike are predicated on stupid bullshit. Comic books are not predicated on propaganda, actually. Don't look into it. Comics and anime alike are just dumb as hell. Shonen, which is the majority of what I talk about, literally means for young men. So children. And children are stupid, inherently. If you're under the age of, let's say for no reason, hmm, 21, you're a moron. And if you're thinking, oh, but not me, especially you, pride is the burden of a foolish man, ego is the anesthesia which numbs the pain of stupidity. Now obviously filler cannot advance the plot, because that would change the plot away from where the plot in the canon is going. And then you end up with a Full Metal Alchemist situation. Cue the clip from Gintama, I don't know, I've never seen Gintama. But not everything in a story advances the plot, or at least it shouldn't. A key part of a long-running series is downtime, where things don't advance. But you get a greater understanding of the characters you're on the adventure with. This is commonly referred to as character work. Now granted, some people have carbon monoxide poisoning and think that character work is filler. Also, I'm sorry if you hear tornado sirens in the background, I'm gonna try and reduce them, but uh, yeah, there's like a tornado going on right now where I live. And this is why I kind of miss filler. And also, uh, that's the title of the video, so I put that in really smoothly. Go me. When I find a cast of characters I love, I want to see them do anything and everything. And okay, yeah, before you get on me for being too attached to fake people. What are you, the Pope? Am I, is Buddha watching my video? They're real to me, okay? Get off your high horse. Why shouldn't I want to watch Goku learn to drive? I love Goku, and I want to see him and Piccolo get their driver's license, and you will not tell me that is stupid. Plus, filler doesn't even have to be whole episodes. There are episodes that are chock full of filler and you may never know. My Hero Academia, a great anime, has lots of little bits of filler. For example, in the sports festival arc, there are a lot of fights which are expanded just slightly when in the manga these fights are just a few panels. This is also technically filler, but are you going to argue that it shouldn't be there? Are you going to sit there and scrub through the episodes, manga in one hand, skipping past the stuff that isn't technically 100% canon? I will say, I've skipped filler before, because if I'm not enjoying watching it and I don't have to watch it to understand future events, I'm just not gonna. In One Piece, I got partway through the dragon thing after the Straw Hats enter the Grand Line and fight Eric the Whirlwind. Master, and I was just so fucking bored, and then I learned that it was filler, and I skipped right on ahead. 
Now, of course, anime is in a great place right now. Obviously, animation is just getting better and better. And with the transparency of the internet, there's less and less filler because people are more aware of when something is filler. And that's all well and good, I guess. You know, you can enjoy your tight, well-paced story, which is a direct adaptation of the author's vision. I suppose, but like, why can't we ever consider what Shane wants? Just a little guy like me, a little boy. So we are going to go over what Shane wants. I'm going to go over some of my favorite series, even ones that are finished. Ones that I haven't finished, there are no rules, you're in filler land, and Shane is the dictator, and I will string you up by your feet and gut you like a fish if you disagree. Let's start with Hunter x Hunter, a show that I am not finished with, I'm in the middle of the York New City arc, but I'm thinking that our big four open a fish shop. Gon does the fishing while Leorio runs the business end of things, exorbitantly upcharging the clientele. And we have Kilo would do the deliveries on his little skateboard, and then someone only tips 10%, so he rips their heart out. And then the Phantom Troop shows up to buy some fish, so that Karapika has something to do. Okay, next up, Death Note. Now obviously, Death Note is an incredible series, one of the best. But if there's one flaw with it, we all know what it is. So... We lost power, and it didn't come back on until the middle of the night, so here I am again. If there's one thing that Death Note's missing, it's relationship drama. I think that Ryuk should start being preoccupied and not able to work with Light, always thinking of something else. Only for us to discover that he's in love. Light has to help Ryuk so that Ryuk can help Light again. But Light doesn't know how to help him, so he has to sheepishly go get help from L and Misa. Ryuk goes on a date with the Shinigami as a crush on, and it's a pink-hued version of Ryuk, I guess, and then she dies or something. This next idea is my masterpiece. My coupe de grace, if you will. Or won't. That's okay, too. My girlfriend and I have been watching a lot of cooking shows recently. Mostly Cutthroat Kitchen. Basically, it's a three-round cooking show, four contestants an episode, different food each time, and the twist is that you can bet on sabotages for your competitors. Now, you may think that a great fit for a Cutthroat Kitchen-themed episode would be Food Wars, naturally, but shut the fuck up, I don't care about your opinions, we're doing My Hero Academia. I can see it now, this idea has the perfect mix of in-universe justification and completely made-up horseshit that I can shovel down your gullet. The competition would be part of the hero curriculum at UA, taught by Lunch Rush, the cook hero. You could justify this by saying that the heroes may have to cook for people at relief efforts, kind of like they had to do during the forest training arc. Also, I talked about that arc in my MHA arc ranking video a couple weeks ago, and it's my most viewed video, it's almost at 100 views, uh, please get it there, thank you. Anyways, we've got 20 kids in class 1A, so 5 rounds happening pseudo-simultaneously with a final winner's round. If you want to make this really weird and off-genre, you could even include the cutaway to camera shots, like I am doing now in this video. Obviously, quirks are allowed, although many of them will not be of much use. I'm sorry, Jiro, but hearing is the last sense you need for cooking. But I think that the winner's round of four will be Momo, being able to create her own utensils will be invaluable. Bakugo, because he is both canonically interested in and skilled at cooking. Rikido Sato, because this is his one thing and I don't want to take it from him. And Uraka, because she's poor and therefore knows how to make struggle meals, an invaluable skill when your ingredients are taken away. Some sabotages could include having present Mike commentate your cooking, having the League of Villains attacking you while you cook, and Mineta being present. Anyways, I hope that you appreciated this video all about filler. Hey Satan, go fish. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, please uh, like it, please do, uh, or if you are not yet, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, I'm, I'm really tired. You better like this video because this has been really hard to get out. God has been sending natural disasters just to prevent me from posting this video, which means I'm on the right track. So... Anyways, uh, yeah, no, like, clothes gimmick for 
this week. I've just got my tea because it's very early. I'm tired. Have a good one. I'll see you all next week.